we believe that our portfolios will more than triple over the next five years. So that's more than a 25% compound annual rate of return over the next five years. Actually, it's approaching 30 after today. Consider the source. It's our research. Our research, I think, is the best in the business, but we're expecting a 50% compound annual rate of return. You know, our expectation is that we will deliver uh, a 15% compound annual rate of return over the next five years. Why did that not happen over the last five years? I'll tell you why, because you can't have your cake and eat it too. In this episode, I'm gonna break down the massive bombshell that Kathy Wood just dropped on her shareholders and what it means for everybody holding ARK Invest funds right now. Your time is valuable, so let's get right into it. Look, I've been following ARK Invest for about six years now, and I have a ton of respect for their research on advanced technology. They really do a great job analyzing everything from artificial intelligence and robotics to genomics and even the metaverse. But there is clearly something lacking when it comes to translating that research into financial models, five-year price targets, and ultimately their own investment decisions. I think context is really important here. So let me show you a few examples of just how egregiously wrong their recent performance predictions have been. On May 19th, 2021, Kathy Wood said that she expects ARK Invest funds to more than triple over the next five years. Here's the clip so you can see for yourself just how confident she was in that prediction. We're not going back to the old world. We're not going back to the old world. So, so uh, you know, my confidence has only increased in our strategies. What about, though, the tech underperformance, Kathy, that we've seen? How much longer do you think, you know, we see that? I can tell you uh, that the valuations in, in, our, in, in our portfolios would suggest uh, that over the next five years, again, if our research is correct, no promises, uh, we believe that our portfolios will more than triple over the next five years. So that's more than a 25% compound annual rate of return over the next five years. Actually, it's approaching 30 after today. Uh, so, you know, I'm looking at that with great confidence because these innovation platforms have hit escape velocity and they there is no turning back. There is no turning back. There are no minced words here. At the time of that interview, ARK Invest's main fund, ARK-K, was trading at around $105 per share. So Kathy Wood's prediction implied that it would triple in price by May of 2026 to around $315 per share. I also want to point out something else that I personally find to be at least a little bit inappropriate. During that same interview, Kathy Wood literally told her shareholders not to sell her funds, warning us that selling would be a terrible mistake. The, what pains me more than anything as a portfolio manager is when I know our clients are selling at the bottom. Uh, and it usually is that people sell. The big capitulation that I described earlier with Bitcoin is selling at mm -hmm. the bottom. So, so you make a terrible mistake and you don't want to ever get in again. And it just pains me. So I'm just praying that we don't have a lot of that. This isn't some random person making crazy predictions on YouTube. ARK Invest has tens of billions of dollars in assets under management, and their funds outperformed the market by triple digit percentage points just three months before this interview. I think that's a pretty big conflict of interest when a famous fund manager goes on a well-respected outlet like Bloomberg and openly tells investors how to trade their own funds. Either way, ARK's price actually went up by over 20% over the next few weeks following that interview. So it seemed like holding on to ARK Invest's funds really was the right call here. But over the next year or so, ARK's price dropped by about 44% down to $59 per share. And on April 12, 2022, Kathy Wood made another price prediction for her funds, this time in an interview with CNBC. And if you thought that a 25% compound annual growth rate was aggressive, check this out. From the trough in COVID to the peak, we were up 360%. And at the end, I was saying, keep some powder dry. Now, down this much, uh, we're, we're saying if you believed that at the peak, when we, we expected our total return for the next five years to be 15 percent at a compound annual rate, if you believe that then, what has happened since? Prices have come down. But our models actually, our earnings return expectations have actually gone up. So over the next five years, we're expecting 
consider the source. It's our research. Our research, I think, is the best in the business, but we're expecting a 50% compound annual rate of return. A 50% compound annual growth rate for five years straight. On April 12th, 2022, RK was trading at around $59 per share. So this prediction meant that RK would touch $450 per share by April of 2027. But wait, there's more. Kathy Wood's biggest price target actually comes from a blog post that she herself authored with the following title. Innovation stocks are not in a bubble. We believe they are in deep value territory. In this blog post, Kathy Wood showed how stocks like Zoom, DocuSign, and Teladoc each went down by more than 50%, even though their revenues went up by more than 50% over the same time frame. She explained how algorithms account for roughly 70% of all trading volume in the U.S., and how they were tuned against high-tech growth stocks. She warned that even though inflation was bad now, in 2021, that the bigger surprise to the markets would be deflation, and that after collapsing in 2021, growth stocks could turn around dramatically in 2022. She went on to bash the market for worrying about another dot-com-style bubble and rotating into safer stocks that sit at the top of the indexes like Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. In our view, these Pavlovian responses will prove just as wrong as those in the early days of the coronavirus crisis. They are backward-looking and do not recognize that companies investing aggressively today are sacrificing short-term profitability for an important reason, to capitalize on an innovation age the likes of which the world has never witnessed." End quote. And at the bottom of that blog post, Kathy Wood concluded with this. With a five-year investment time horizon, our forecasts for these platforms suggest that our strategies today could deliver a 30 to 40% compound annual rate of return during the next five years. In other words, if our research is correct, and I believe that our research on innovation is the best in the financial world, then our strategies will triple to quintuple in value over the next five years. Yet, as this year winds to a close, investors seem to be more interested in playing it safe and moving closer to the benchmarks that, in our view, are unlikely to generate even average returns during the next 10 years. When Kathy Wood published this blog post on December 17, 2021, RK was trading at $97.20 a share. So a tripling over five years would be $291 per share, and a quintupling would put RK at a whopping $486 per share by the end of 2026, making this the most aggressive public price prediction that Kathy Wood has made about her own funds. And that brings us to her latest interview on CNBC's Fast Money, which took place on September 18th, 2023. You already know the drill from previous price targets. Kathy would expect RK to grow by 30% per year from $105 per share back in 2021. And she expected it to grow by 50% per year from $59 a share in 2022. On the day of this interview, RK was trading at $42 per share. So Kathy Wood should be expecting RK to grow by at least 60% per year from that price point. After all, 60% per year for five years straight would put RK at around $440 per share in September of 2027. That's right in line with her $450 price target from last year. So the math checks out. Okay, so here's Kathy Wood's actual new price prediction for RK. Hey, Kathy, it's Tim. Thanks for joining us. And you know, you're talking about five to 10 years, at some level, an extraordinary long time uh, to be looking out and, and modeling back. But uh, this fund is down 1.32% on average over the last five years. Um, the stories you're talking about are long-term growth, exciting stories. Help us understand that a little bit more. Well, first, let me put in context that uh, five-year number, because you know our expectation is that we will deliver uh, a 15% compound annual rate of return over the next five years. Why did that not happen over the last five years? Uh, the biggest reason is an increase in interest rates. What a massive bombshell. It actually took me a while to absorb just how monumental the self-reported downgrade is. A 15% compound annual growth rate over the next five years from $42 per share means that RK will be worth just $84.50 by the end of 2028. That's 81% lower than her previous price targets and two years later. It's actually even 25% lower than the price at which Kathy Wood flat out told investors not to sell her funds back in 2021. That what pains me more than anything as a portfolio manager is when I know our clients are selling at the bottom. The 15% Kathy Wood now expects is actually ARK Invest's minimum hurdle rate of return. 
she literally cannot say a lower number. So her latest price prediction is actually much worse than it even sounds. Let me explain why. In this same interview, Kathy Wood reiterated ARK Invest's $1,400 bear case and $2,000 base case price target for Tesla in 2028. That means she still expects her biggest holding by far to go up by anywhere from a 5 to 7x over the next 5 years. Tesla is currently 11% of ARK K and a whopping 14% of ARK Q by weight. So if it goes up by as much as ARK Invest predicts, plenty of the other stocks can underperform while the funds could still go up by this 15% per year. Which stocks are the ones that will underperform the most? We have no idea because out of the 120 or so stocks that are held across ARK Invest's actively managed funds, they've only released a handful of price targets and almost none of them appear to account for interest rates. Check out what happens when I change the interest rate of their Tesla valuation model from 4% to 8%. Their 2027 predicted share price goes down by just $1. There's really no excuse for ARK Invest to not account for interest rates in their models, given how sensitive their funds are to them. This alone is a massive, multi-year-long oversight, and the resulting bloodbath that ARK Invest has caused for its investors cannot be overstated. I personally have lost over $38,000 in ARK K, $23,000 in ARK G, $5,000 in ARCW, and another $35,000 on Teladoc. That's over $100,000 in losses. If Kathy Wood's prediction of 15% growth per year holds true, it'll take me nine years just to break even. By the way, I'm not asking for any sympathy here. I'm responsible for my own investment decisions just like everyone else. I'm just trying to show you that I put my money where my mouth is, and I really am right there with you in terms of these losses. All right, so what happens now? If anyone from ARK Invest is watching this, I have a few suggestions as a longtime follower and shareholder. First, your valuation models have to actually account for interest rates, especially given the long-term nature of the stocks that you invest in. Second, you need to stop the public price predictions about your own funds. If we're supposed to think of them as indexes for innovation, then talk about them that way. The point of an index isn't to maximize performance, but to track it for a specific area of a market. It's just a financial tool. And if your funds are about performance, then how can you not manage the risks associated with rising interest rates when you were given years to adjust to them? Your funds cannot be both whenever it suits you. You can't have your cake and eat it too. And finally, you have to stop ignoring the innovations coming out of the mega caps. Tesla is not the only innovator at the top of the indexes, and the narrative that these companies are going to get disrupted no longer makes any sense. NVIDIA, Google, and Microsoft aren't just embracing the generative AI revolution. They're leading it. Facebook and soon Apple will be the biggest players in the virtual reality and mixed reality markets. Amazon's market share in e-commerce and cloud services has only been going up over the last five years. These are also some of the only companies holding up the entire stock market right now. So far in 2023, the top seven companies in the S&P 500 are up by more than 50%, while the rest of the index has basically been flat. And the top 10 stocks in the NASDAQ account for around 70% of its gains. That's because of disruptive innovation, not in spite of it. You have to stop ignoring them. And it's because of these flaws that ARK Invest just changed their fund's growth projections from 50% per year to 15%. That's an 81% decrease over the next five years, even more if you account for the time difference between their predictions. We shouldn't just ignore that either. And if you found this video useful, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. That lets me know to put out more content like this. Either way, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is ticker symbol U. My name is Alex, reminding you that the best investment you can make is in you. What pains me more than anything as a portfolio manager is when I know our clients are selling at the bottom. So, so you make a terrible mistake and you don't want to ever get in again. And it just pains me. So I'm just praying that we don't have a lot of that.